Well, good morning. I'm starting a new project this morning. I want to make a sharpening system for my bandsaw blades. I run Timberwolf from Suffix Machine. It's a 7 8 tooth, meaning that each tooth is 7 8 of an inch from the last tooth. And what I found was on the Suffix uh, uh, website, they have a cam, and this cam is actually for a cook cat claw. But it, it's, it's the heart of the whole machine. It's, it's pre-ground, it's all set to go, and it has the tooth advance on it. So it's a pretty simple uh, part, but it covers a lot of territory. It screws on I, uh, with a little Allen screw in the back is what holds it on. So I have in my list of uh, assets out of my junk pile a fairly new Boston 100 to 1 gear right angle gear drive so this is what I'm going to use to run the cat claw uh, cam with I've made an adapter and the adapter is a little long but until I get it set up I don't know where I want to cut it but basically I made an adapter that fits the shaft out of the right angle drive and I threaded it to fit this I think it's 3 8 uh, uh, fine thread and that just screws on here just like in the cat claw shows our videos and this will turn and I'm, I'm striving for about 10 to 25 or maybe 30 revolutions per minute so it'll sharpen depending on where you set the speed control between 10 to 25 teeth a minute and if you do the math uh, the, the uh, blade I have is 13 foot two inches long so you can figure out how long it would take you to go around the whole thing. So this is what I have. I ordered off good old eBay a Leeson uh, 1760 RPM 90 volt DC motor and it comes like this. I'm going to take this off. I don't need the uh, connecting box because I'm not going to have this thing outside ever never going to be in the rain so I need to protect that so now I've got to adapt this into here the shaft is like everything is just a little too big so here's here's the uh, the uh, I don't know what you would call this it's, it's, it's got like a little rubber what do they call these things Lovejoy connector is I think what the correct name of it is so that will go in here like this. So this part of the Lovejoy connector is just a hair too small. So the dilemma is, do you bore this out or do you turn the shaft down? The problem is, I don't think you can see it, but there's a little flat spot in this connector that slides over the flat spot corresponding on the shaft. Well, if I bore this out, I'm going to lose the flat spot. And... Uh, that would take quite a bit of machining to keep that. So I've got to figure out a way to turn this shaft down. There's two ways to do it that I see. I can clamp the back end of this into a four-jawed chuck and use it as a stationary point and then center this on a live center, turn the motor on and just lay this off just a hair. I may do that. Or I can take this apart chuck up the end of this and try to hold it in a live center. The problem is the weight is pretty heavy. Even with all of this off, this is going to be heavy and awkward. There's a good chance it'll slip out and it could be kind of a catastrophic failure. So I'm kind of leaning towards using this motor as the lathe drive and carefully chucking this up and centering it and then just turning this down a hair to get it to the right point. I think the flat will remain, but I can I can uh, put that in the bridge port if I have to and take it down a little. So at this point, I don't have uh, the drive. I've ordered the drive for this, the 0 to 90 volt drive. And I'll need that if I want to lathe it off using the motor as the power for the lathe and just using the lathe as a holder with it in a low gear. The other thing I've got to do is I've got to adapt this to here. I'm going to actually, I, this is just a half an inch, so I've got to make an adapter 
there's a half an inch gap. I have some a piece of 6061. I'd really like to use 7075 because it just is so much better to work with. But this is what I got out and back. So uh, these are some of the things we're going to go over on the videos. This is going to be a long uh, process because it's summer here and it's awfully nice out. So it's going to be a rainy day thing that I'm going to do. So I'll, I'll be sending out videos and it may take half of the winter to get this thing built. But we're going to try it and uh, may get some ideas. It may work, it may not. But that's the fun of, of doing these kind of things is overcoming the obstacles as you go along. Do I have anything written out or drawn out? No, it's all in my head, but I got an idea how to do it. And no, I'm not in the Army. <clears throat> my son was in the Army. I was in the Air Force back during the Vietnam conflict. Uh, some of you older guys remember that. It's kind of dating myself. But it should be a fun little project, and I will keep you posted as we go. And please uh, look for my other videos. This is number 18 now, I guess. It's been a lot of fun. So, through this next few months, we'll be putting these videos out. And I appreciate you watching.